Am I zoning back? Yeah. So what would you share with the Western world about women's issues here in India and what you'd like to see change? I think women in West uh, should realize that they're lucky. The things which they just take for granted, we Indian women fight for it every single day. It's like we fight for our rights, we fight for a simple thing like a pad which can give us some hygiene, a right to live. There's a stigma around periods that we don't talk about. It's still spoken in a code language. In rural areas where women don't have access to sanitary pads, they would use old rags. In some cases, it could be dirt or sand, whatever resources they have available to them. A woman should be free to breathe, free to live. And I think a good sanitary napkin like Sati would liberate the woman. Sati began when we decided that we wanted to address the issue of women having access to sanitary pads in India. But if 100% of women in India have access to sanitary pads, that means that four states in India would be covered in plastic waste each year. India is polluting a lot. The landfill will keep on growing and growing and growing. So. I would just have to say that there's no planet B and there's no end to plastic. Of course we want every woman to have access to sanitary pads and be able to use them, but we also don't want to cause an environmental issue. So we decided to come up with a solution that considers both aspects, both health and environment. We are trying to address the waste management issue by making 100% compostable and biodegradable sanitary napkins out of 100% natural banana fiber. And also all the adverse effects of chemicals, like there can be rash, there can be allergy, there can be itching. So all that will also go away with a natural pad made up of natural material. We are using these, this part of the tree, which is the stem, not the leaves. Actually, farmers leave it out there to rot after the harvest because it's of no use and we are making the best out of the waste. So in the chain, everyone is benefiting. The farmer gets a bit of money for the waste, which was previously waste, now it's a raw material for us. The fiber reaches our factory, then we do a magical process where we convert it into highly absorbent cotton-like material. So in production, we employ women in our facility. We decided that we're just gonna employ women to make our product. We didn't thought that it's gonna be easy or hard. We were just like stubborn about it that that's what we're gonna do. Because we can teach our children good. If we go to other places, we don't have to ask anyone to ask for money or money. These women are not just uh, factory workers, they are educators, which goes from here, educate women in the other suburbs where they don't know about menstrual hygiene, which is amazing. If you really strongly feel that you want to make a difference and um, address that problem, then always just keep going. If you know a problem and if you know a solution, then it just takes a bit of a passion, a lot of hard work, and a little bit of crazy to solve it. <laughs> I like that. Women have always been pushed behind the men in India. So I think when a mother educates a daughter about a pad, she has realized that the pad will give her daughter the freedom. The freedom to go to school regularly, the freedom to hold on to a job, basically the freedom to meet the world with a confidence.